Our classic update kit makes it simple to add an electric fuel pump to your project. We recommend using a relay along with your electric fuel pump. Most of our vehicle specific classic update kits have a pre-installed ignition trigger wire in the dash accessory plug for this purpose. Select one of the ignition trigger wires as labeled in your kit instructions. This will be what's used for terminal 86 on the fuel pump relay. If you're using a universal kit, You'll want to locate a spare ignition hot feed for this purpose. Our 40 amp universal relay kit, part number 500479, works well as a fuel pump relay and will include a pre-wired relay base using the same GXL wire and GM color coding as our full chassis kits. Terminal 87 will supply power to the fuel pump. You'll want to be sure to match this to what's listed as the power wire in the fuel pump instructions because color coding could change depending on the manufacturer. Relay Terminal 30 is what will receive fuse battery power. Our relay kit includes a 30 amp fuse and inline fuse holder for this purpose. Finally, Terminal 85 is the relay ground connection. This can be connected to a clean chassis ground, junction block, or the negative battery terminal itself. Our 500479 kit includes a ring terminal if required. Setting up your relay in this way ensures your fuel pump will run any time the vehicle has ignition power. This is an important distinction because connecting the relay to a constant battery feed means the pump will not shut off when the key is removed, which would be incorrect. Be sure to consult your fuel pump instructions to make sure any other additional connections, such as a fuel pump ground circuit, have been made prior to starting the vehicle. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.